The halls are decked aboard the Battleship Texas this season. Throughout the month of December, the crew of the Battleship Texas decorates the ship as it would have been decorated during peacetime. They would have $25 rewarded to the guy or group of guys who decorated their stateroom or their casemate the best. It looked the most festive. That was the most Christmassy. It made the guys feel like they were at home for the holidays, as opposed to being in the middle of the ocean away from everyone that they knew. In the true spirit of Christmas, the public is invited to tour the Battleship Texas and take part in a special celebration. And we hand out uh, free cookies and wassail and Christmas types of goodies, sort of our way of saying Merry Christmas to the community at large and to those who come to visit our ship. Much like the crew did during her early days. In 1939, for Christmas, the crew actually invited the entire city aboard. They were in Nova Scotia for a Christmas dinner. Along with Christmas cheer, visitors can discover some unusual facts about the battleship's history, like the story of Jim. Admiral Beatty sent out a distress call in the middle of the night that said, I have an American pup on my ship. What American ship wants it? To see how long it would take the American ships to respond. But within minutes, every American ship responded. The Texas was, of course, the first. Visitors can board the only ship in existence that served in both world wars and is still serving us today. She's a very special artifact. We're very lucky to have her. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Lydia Saldana.